Today we're taking a look at these MLB matches, Chicago White Sox vs. Baltimore Orioles, Toronto Blue Jays vs. Tampa Bay Rays and Kansas City Royals vs. Cleveland Indians, which are happening on Friday, July 9, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you. You can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 270 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours and hours of your time searching the internet for some fake betting predictions and losing your money because of it. Join High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advices instantly. The Chicago White Sox are 16 games over .500 and much of their success is thanks to excellent production at the plate. The White Sox have the fifth best team batting average in baseball at .255 led by Tim Anderson, .307, have the ninth best slugging percentage at .411 led by Jose Abreu, .444, and have scored the fifth most runs with 429. Abreu is 15 home runs and 63 RBIs to lead the White Sox in both categories. The only other player for Chicago in double figures in home runs is Yasmani Grandal with 14 but the catcher is out injured. The White Sox have hit only 86 home runs this season but have 144 doubles and 17 triples through 86 games. Chicago is slugging .407 and have been rung up 749 times, while being walked on 323 occasions. They have accrued 395 runs batted in in addition to 700 base knocks so far this year while their batting average comes in at .253. The White Sox have hit 138 two-baggers as a squad and have hit 85 balls out of the stadium. They have earned a total of 423 runs scored while having a team OBP of .336. As a unit, the Chicago White Sox are earning 5.0 runs slash G, which has them at 5th in baseball. The White Sox have a team-earned run average of 3.65 this year, 9th in baseball, and their staff has rung up 842 batters. They have a strikeout-to-walk ratio of 3.29 and their pitching staff holds a whip of 1.22. White Sox pitchers have allowed 94 home runs and 329 runs in total, 6th in the league. They have walked 256 batters and their FIP comes in at 3.70 as a unit so far this year. It is not surprising that the Baltimore Orioles are 30 games below .500 when looking at the performance of their pitching staff. Baltimore has the worst team ERA in all of baseball at 5.53 and is next to last in both whip, 1.46, and quality starts, 15. Opponents are averaging .269 at the plate against Orioles pitching which is also next to last in baseball. My betting advice for that game is to pick Chicago White Sox minus 145. The Blue Jays are sitting with a team ERA of 4.00 so far this season, 13th in the league, and their staff has struck out 762 batters. They have walked 262 opposing batters, and their FIP is 4.34 as a team for the year. Their strikeout-to-walk ratio sits at 2.91 and the pitching staff has a collective whip of 1.26. Blue Jays pitchers have relinquished 114 home runs and 357 total runs, 12th in the league. Toronto doesn't have a bad record or anything as they're four games over .500 at 44-40 but the unfortunate part is that they play in the Al East where that record puts them in third place. They're eight games behind first place Boston and five and a half behind second place Tampa with hopes of gaining some ground there with this series. The Jays have been solid on the road with a 24 to 20 record, although they don't hit quite as well there, 0.257, as they do at home, 0.277. 
So far in July, Toronto has been mediocre, going 3-3 as well as 1-1 on the road. Blue Jays bullpen pitchers have entered the contest with runners on base 95 times and also have had 90 appearances in high leverage situations. The relievers have racked up 39 holds on the year, 18th in baseball. The Blue Jays relief pitchers have accumulated a save rate of 60.0% and stepped onto the hill in 67 save situations. They have recorded 15 saves on the campaign and have blown 10 of their 25 save opportunities. The relievers have inherited 134 base runners over the course of the season with 29.9% of those runners ended up scoring. The Blue Jays have sent 285 relief pitchers to the hill over the course of the season. Tampa is currently sitting on a 51-36 record, which is pretty impressive except they still remain two and a half games behind Boston. That being said, the Rays have won four in a row after suffering a five-game losing streak from the end of June into the first week of July. They'll be motivated to move up in the standings as much as they can this weekend before the All-Star break starts on July 12. In 10 games against Toronto this year, Tampa is 6-4. Tampa Bay relievers have an inherited score rate of 31.1% out of their 90 inherited runners. Their bullpen pitchers have stepped onto the mound 113 times in high leverage situations, also on 72 occasions with runners on. Sitting with 87 save situations, the Rays have 51 holds and also 11 blown saves. They are currently ranked 8th in the league with a save percentage of 67.6% and they have dispatched 275 bullpen pitchers to the mound on the season. Tampa Bay has called on relief pitchers to enter the contest in 34 save opportunities and they have converted 23 saves. My betting advice for that game is to pick Tampa Bay on the money line. The Royals are sitting with a team ERA of 5.05 so far this year, 28th in baseball, and their staff has rung up 736 hitters. They have a strikeout to walk ratio of 2.16 and the pitching staff has a collective whip of 1.47. Royals pitchers have allowed 108 long balls and 435 runs in total 26th in MLB. Their pitching staff has walked 340 opposing batters and their FIP is 4.60 as a team on the season. The Cleveland Indians are a brutally bad offensive team as they are 24th in the majors with a .689 OPS this season. In order to score runs, you need runners on base and Cleveland struggles to do just that as they are only ahead of the Seattle Mariners this season with a .296 OBP as a team. Shortstop Ahmed Rosario has been doing pretty well this season as he has a .683 OPS with 5 home runs and 24 RBI with 8 stolen bases. The Indians need to provide more consistent at-bats if they want to take that next step as a franchise. The Royals have sent 286 relief pitchers to the mound on the season. The relief pitchers have inherited 125 base runners over the course of the season and 28.0% of those players earned a run for their team. They have accumulated 18 saves on the campaign and have blown 13 of their 31 chances to save the game. The Royals relief pitchers have earned a save percentage of 58.1% and stepped onto the hill in 71 save situations. The bullpen have accumulated 40 holds for the year, 16th in MLB. Royals relief pitchers have gone to the mound with runners on 79 times in addition to having 74 appearances in high leverage situations. The Royals have turned 67.3% of baseballs in play into outs out of their 6,600 innings on the diamond, which has them sitting 29th in professional baseball. The Kansas City Royals have notched a total of 2,200 putouts this year, as well as 730 assists and 50 errors. Their fielding percentage is holding at .983 which has them ranked 18th in the majors, and have accumulated 583 double plays. Tristan McKenzie has been on polar opposites of his baseball savant page this season. He is in the first percentile in average exit velocity, 88th percentile in strikeout percentage, first percentile in hard hit percentage, 
and 86th percentile in whiff percentage. McKenzie has a four-pitch arsenal, fastball, curveball, slider, changeup, and the fastball has been hit for power as it has a .206 batting average but five of the eight homers he has given up. This will be the third time he faces the Royals this season as he is 1-0 in 8.2 innings with one run on four hits with eight walks and 10 strikeouts. My betting advice for that game is to pick Cleveland Indians, minus 134. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.